Hello everybody. Are we on? I think we're on. We should be on. Hello everybody. Yeah, um I wanted to say while we're at the start, if any of my PlayStation followers haven't subscribed on YouTube, could you please subscribe to my YouTube, mate? Because we're beginning, we're at the start. I need some uh, momentum to get the algorithm to believe that people care. Which I'm not sure they do. But I don't care. I don't care whether they care, like. Because people care about individual games, that's the problem with what I'm doing. Like. Players who... Okay, so when I was younger, I used to play Call of Duty all the time. That would have been great for viewing count and repeat viewers for, like, the same sort of stuff. <clears throat> now, I'm thinking... What my point is, is I don't think the people who subscribed for Red Dead... I don't know if they're going to watch Alan Wake, you know what I mean? Maybe if they haven't played it, but the, it's not the newest game, so you'd have to be really into Alan Wake, and as I'm playing it, I can't see many people being really into Alan Wake. Like, you could complete it three times, and then it's like, okay, we need a new game. Right, continue. <laughs> Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The leg, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault and you're gonna pay for it. Ah, oh, the clicker. I don't know what that is. Is that a Baz? Oh, no way. We've been put in jail. Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Always in the light. Hello. 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 Bright diner. Bright. Brights fall. Fuck, that's weird. <coughs> the FBI agent had taken them. I think, I think my tongue just did a crap in my mouth. Didn't? Oh, wait, we're in <laughs> Didn't that happen at the start of the last episode? He had all these manuscript pages took. That about sums it up. I'm glad I didn't actually have to watch that. Get me out! Again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song, the Lady of the Light. Have a piece. What, the crazy lady? Uh, whatever you say, Al. But we're stuck here. They're not gonna. Hey. Reading. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. Are you a psycho? Give me in there, Red Easton Ellis. Ah. Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <laughs> the crazy. Of course the crazy. Not this crazy. Hey, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, Shut up. your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead Wait a minute. You psycho. Ha. Oh my god. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. 
Oh man. Oh man. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it, but it all rang true, impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It was the booze that made his mind real. Wait, hold on, I want to read that again. He took out the hip flask. He, he took out his hip flask when he did, reached... Hold on, wait. He took out his hip flask when he reached for the page. Reached the page. Well, the page was in his pocket in that clip, so... When he reached for the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. He took out his hip flask so he takes out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that <laughs> fuck it that's confusing as shit that is oh, whoever chose that that was a good pick that was whoever wrote that little thing that that's really funny I like that one there needs to be more weird fucking shit like that Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hand. That <laughs> was so fucking weird. <laughs> let this happen over his dead body, and yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by shit. The his pants when he realized. He was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. I He's not. What I'm thinking is, Nightingale ain't from round here, is he? Whereas I think all the police who actually are from round here kind of understand that the area is fucking weird and weird shit happens all the time. Don't look at me. Just see what stuff I can find. That's not a door. Door, meeting room. <coughs> Just keep walking, love. <coughs> we need proper lights. What are people's opinions of UFC 300, by the way? Do we not think? Okay, I, I don't know if everyone's a UFC fan or a, even a fighting fan, but UFC 300 is supposed to be a very well. Well, no, it is. A hug. In the light, only in the light, and I need a to cuddle. She can help me stop this. Um. Shit, we've got a lot of stuff. Oh, we've got a rescue chopper. Yeah, baby. Let's go for the rescue chopper. We can cuddle on the way. Nah, 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 nah. All I was going to say... It's a friends and family knob. Yeah, all I was going to say was, I think, I, I don't like the fact that Alex Pereira and Jamal, is it Jamal Hill? Uh, that's the fucking main event, the last fight, the main oh, card. Gaethje and Holloway. Come on. Just let me talk my piece. Um, yeah, Max Holloway and Justin Gaethje. That's the draw. That's the draw for the whole fucking card. Like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of other good fights on there. Alex Pereira being one. But, come on, Holloway Gaethje, mate. That's, that's the last fight of the night, that is. For me, personally... 
on UK times as well. If I'm watching UFC for UFC 300, I'm only going to get to the Gaethje fight and then I'm done. Like, I'm not even going to stay awake for the Pereira fight because there's another fight before that as well. Like, I, there's no point. That should be the main event. That should be the last fight of the night. It, I, I find it ridiculous that it's not... And to be fair, if anyone is a UFC fan, go listen to MMA Guru. Okay, yeah, he <laughs> he goes on some funny rants sometimes. But I mean... I don't know, he, he covers a lot so you, you can keep up to date without actually having to keep up to date properly, you know what I mean? So you just watch his video and that's it, you've got it. Needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Some there then. Oh, what's that? What the bloody hell was that? There was another thing. What is going on? It's all weird. Uh, yeah, definitely watch MMA Guru. He's quite good and now he's getting popular as well so well I don't know about popular but I mean he's actually being and met fighters and he's having interviews with fighters and shit and another one that is really good interviews this is primarily interviews but Nina drama because me and Grip Monkey were talking about this the other day there's a quite a lot of different, like there's Schmo, there's Helen, there used to be Thou Who sh Shall Not Be Named because he's a knob. Um, but they're just... <clears throat> and then obviously there's uh, uh, press conferences, you've got all your usual people in the press conference doing interviews and stuff. But the questions are usually so crap. Now, what I think MMA has lacked for years, you've never had a way to actually get to know the fighters on any level. Nina Drama is that character, that girl. I don't know if she's even playing a character. I think that's actually just her. It seems like it's just her personality anyway. Um, but yeah, it's great. Like, It's nice to finally have a way to get to know the fighters rather than just listen to them talk crap all the time and just talk about punching each other in the head or punching other people in the fucking head instead it's like oh what's your favourite film, what's your favourite food what do you like to do you know what I mean it's great I don't know what the purpose is of destroying What the? Oh, what? 